So hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Lineage OS on UU Euphoria and I know I'm late because I was not really going to make this review because there is nothing really different than Cyanogen Mode 14.1 which we already use on your UU Euphoria but I was uh, waiting for a thing because some developers were working on fixing the uh, data issue and making a Volti patch for this ROM so that didn't happen and here is the review, there is nothing different it's just a no good ROM. Smoothness is much better than the Cyanogen Mode 14.1. Maybe the new sources, as you can see, 7.1.1, .1, Lineage OS 14.1. They don't really have uh, like a uh, new logo. I know they have a new logo, but they have not implemented uh, right now in their sources. So everywhere it states like a uh, Cyanogen mod. There is still uh, some issue with the data toggle. These ROMs are actually more smoother than the Cyanogen Mode 14.1 because I have some touch lag -like issues on my U Euphoria, and there are uh, right now like none actually so if you want some uh, performance improvements great as a battery department the standby time is really great i have charged this device to 100 uh, like uh, two days ago with this uh, lineage os and it's still at 96 percent which is just great only 40 percent of drain is really great for this device also it only uses 850 megs which is really great you uh, almost get more than 50 percent in order to use your device but if you ever like feel some slowdowns you can always enable the developer options go over here enable your root things but you can also go down over here go to the hardware enable this hardware overlays and force gpu rendering it will also help in reduce your lags so the gpu also works with your cpu in order to co composite the elements on your device let's take a look at a bit multimeter there is a problem with my s7 right now it just doesn't adjust the exposure by itself let's just open the phone the app opening times are pretty good and also i can see the shade has been changed a bit it's not a light blue it's now much darker messages also there is green and yellow it was a bit different as i can remember browser and everything still the same the green shade is also there the audio effects still the same only the phones and other apps have been changed a bit because the earlier builds of these roms were actually really like a pixel build the icons were round because i have one of the earliest builds on my s7 and it was like sire like circular icons with the all pixel ui now they are changed down a bit to the stock one also the boot animation is just the stock android one nothing has been changed let's just check out the multi window open audio effects over here and messages ah it doesn't lag but we can't really adjust on this 5 inch display i guess it only adjusts on 5.5 inch or uh, larger than that so that's weird cause cyanogen mode actually uh, like allows you to adjust at this part on some devices or that must be the resurrection remix let's just check out the boot time of this rom There you go. Uh, if you're thinking that this is a lineage OS boot animation, no, it's not. It's the most stock thing you will ever appear or uh, if you're creating a ROM. That's the stock one which you get with the, not now with the Pixel one, but if you are uh, making your own stock ROM with the Google's AOSP sources, that's the original boot animation but as you can see the device booted pretty quick only in 5 to 3 seconds and on my galaxy s7 which has a like a almost snapdragon 21 performance it just boots in one second it the uh, it just shows the android logo and bam device is booted so the lineage os are really 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 good even if you have like a stock package of g apps as you can see many apps are over here and that pretty much it there is nothing more to this rom the camera is still the same the snapdragon work uh, which is uh, really very great the color saturation is also adjustable there are still some bugs of the sign 14 hope they will fix it and thanks for watching this was a review of lineage os i know there was nothing to it because if you want a review of this rom i will leave a link in the description for my sign more 14.1 the review or a i button over here which you can tap it and thanks for watching peace